Hello, welcome back to a, another video. Um, right, um, basically it's going to be like a bit of a two week review. So in a second you'll see me last Monday. Um, I did Monday and Tuesday, uh, not all of it, some of it. Uh, then the van went in Thursday, Friday. So yeah, so there is, I did start a week in a life. So, but then I didn't finish it. So I'm going to do a two week review type of thing. Um, so next time you'll see me like this is last Monday. So Tom from last Monday, take it away. Hello, welcome back. It's another week in a life, three weeks in a row. And we started on a bank holiday Monday. Stop doing this. <laughs> we started on a bank holiday Monday. I had a job booked in on Friday. Yeah. Um, if you've watched previous vlogs, maybe not the last couple, but previous ones before that. Um, there's medical jobs from uh, WA7 uh, going all over the country. Um, usually pay all right. Uh, obviously, we've been a bank holiday. Um, and I actually, and from where I was going, where I was actually dropping off, there was obviously well, from what I was going, it went to um, Anglesey, so there was obviously no chance for a return load. Even on a normal day, you've got no chance. So it's priced accordingly. Same money there, same money back. Um, sorry, pence per mile, same pence per mile, same coming back. Not mega money, the money for a small van. But on a bank holiday, I wasn't doing anything else. So, and I'm back home now at just a quarter past 11. So, for the hours it's took me to do the work, um, it's, you know, it's a reasonably good day. And it's just extra money, isn't it? Tops it up. Um so yeah, that's Monday. Obviously, it's not going to be yet, but pff, there might be something later. But got a few things to do. Admin for work, um, so probably won't get anything else now. I'll do any other work tomorrow. I think I mentioned on Friday. Got another job booked in again. I was on Friday for tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, Roberts Bakery, the big bake. I'll say it's big. Yeah, Roberts Bakery is quite big. Isn't it? A lot of people love some of their products. Um, that's just going to Manchester. It's half seven pickups. So that's handy. Gets going. Minimum charge money. Um, I've been there before three or four times now and just collecting I don't know what it is it won't be much it's collecting from the actual re um, security reception hut so it won't be much probably sam usually sometimes it's samples and stuff because there's like a cake place next to it as well so anyway so that's going to the headquarters of the co-op uh, it's outskirts Isha Manchester I, I, I like always look on again new viewers I look instantstreetview.com or .co uk Instant Street View, put it into Google. I like to plan things. I like to visualise where I'm going to see if it's like Manchester, just to see what it's like for parking, what the buildings are, especially when it's like a city centre way or Manchester way. It's fair to do it everywhere, to be fair, just to see what the access is like. And then, especially when you're coming up to it, sometimes places are hard to find and then you can actually see it because you know you've already seen it before when you've done a bit of research the night before. Obviously, appreciate you can't always do that when you're on the go, but if I've got a job booked in, I'll always try and do that. So that'll be a good start to Tuesday, and then um, we'll see Tuesday and Wednesday, last two days in a month. So hopefully Tuesday we can obviously get to a busy, busiest area in Manchester way, um, and then see how we go on from there. And like I said, it just gets us moving, doesn't it? Especially half seven pickup, that's, you know, get get going. Because obviously I think it's about 10 minutes away from me to pick up, so that's good. Um, not sure it'll be a full week. Tuesday and Wednesday should be okay. Obviously Tuesday working. It's Tuesday Wednesday. Thursday, because it's the last week of summer holidays, I'm a, Got my daughter in the morning to like lunchtime. So we'll have to see. And also it's the start of a new month, so it doesn't matter too much because you still got four four weeks at it for, even from Monday. So Thursday and Friday we'll have to see. Um we'll try our best though after lunch time on Thursday after I've dropped off at a friend's. Um to see what see see if we can get anything else. Um right, I'll leave it there. Hope everyone's having a good bank holiday. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Hello, welcome back. It's Tuesday. But that's the day on Monday. Um, it didn't end on Monday where I left it. Um, I did. I was at home for a while doing stuff. Um, but then what time was it around? Three-ish, quarter past three. Uh, one other, another medical job from WA7 popped up. Going to, I can't pronounce it. I have to put it here. Uh, Whitehaven Way, but back i don't know long way well not long yeah but you know long enough um 
And I even went the same when he there as in back. And then I thought, do I really want to be doing this this time of night, afternoon, but obviously it'd be night when I get back. Um, so we even just put a bit more on top because of where it is and being a bank holiday. And I actually got it. And he just given me no qualms, didn't say anything. Yep, still available. Yes, I'm still available. So I got back at just past 10 o'clock last night. Um, I think it worked out after VAT and stuff. It was 78p a mile, all miles, including there getting back. So it was good money and just trying to get as much as we can before the end of the month. Had a week's holiday uh, start of the month and a bit of a dodgy week a few weeks ago, just not doing a full week and stuff. So really trying to get as much in as I can before tomorrow. Well, before Thursday. Uh, so yeah, that was all right. Yeah, no problem at all. Done that. Actually, the pick, pick up, as already mentioned, for half seven. So, time I got showered, packed, and cleaned up, it was, you know, late, and then I had to be up again. So, I've done that. It's just one box to the co op building in Manchester, basically city centre way. Uh, it was all right, to be fair, for city centre, it was, it was painless. Uh, the drop off wasn't as easy because it went to the reception, a part in like a loading bay on the road, and it was round the back. And I went there originally, but it was just two shutters, it looked like a car park. And there was no sign saying deliveries here. So the reception was like, it's where the shutters are. I was like, oh, bloody hell, it's been there. Um, so we eventually found that it was fine. And um, there was like a mail room. So that was all good. And now I'm in a uh, usual spec. I was quite near to it as well, because obviously I looked where the job was going. Um, and I took it. So in the Sainsbury, Sainsbury's in Salford. Uh, it's obviously, what time are now? 20 to 9. Uh, traffic's quite mad still. There's stuff around here. You can see it going past me. Um, but near Trafford Park, obviously Salford, another bit. So, we'll have to see how today goes. Um, but for a decent area for Manchester, hopefully, pick something up. Uh, yeah, that's it, right? We'll catch you up. We'll, we'll catch you later on. Hello, back again from the start of the video and back to current day. So, let's try and remember last week. Uh, so, I left it in Manchester. Uh, Salford, then I got the job quite soon after um, five minutes away going to Clacton on Sea. Um, it's only a few boxes, it's pretty straightforward, and there's good money in that to be fair. Um, so, yeah, I was really happy with that. Um, and that was it. After I got Clacton on Sea, went Moochie down to Colchester. I was staying in Colchester. Um, so the issue I had, um, God, what day was that? So that was Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, that was Wednesday, last Wednesday. Uh, and I had to be back um, Wednesday night because Thursday I uh, had my daughter because on the morning. So it was very restricted in what I could do. And obviously it's my own fault for going to Colchester, really, isn't it? Um, so there's, I had to leave by a certain time. I couldn't hang around all day in Colchester. I did have two shippers ring me for jobs for around that area. I haven't even been on, they rang me, but they were going south or around East Anglia. Um, so I couldn't take them. Um, and nothing came up north, so I just put my route on CX. Um, and I, picked, I did a pick up one job, which is right, because it more than paid for the fuel and paid for a little bit extra. Obviously not brilliant, but it's better than going home all the way empty. Um, from Cambridge to Walsall. Um... I can't remember what that was, but um, I did that and went home from there. So not great, but not terrible. It was a bit of a funny week last week, to be honest, apart from the bank holiday. Um, so that was Wednesday, wasn't it? Yep, so Thursday and Friday, the van's been in uh, just short of its due for its service. So I thought it'd go in. Um, and the issue with the van at the moment, um, which I've been going around with the folks, so, you know, I've got to work. It's got... Um, do you think from the diagnostic, do you think it's a throttle sensor thing? So the van has been cutting out, the power's just being off, and you've got your foot to the floor and it's not doing anything. So um, you try to get the part for that, and it has to come from France. And they said it would be with him this Monday, just gone. And oh no, it's coming from France, which they didn't tell him, and then it's coming Friday, and it hasn't come. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass because he just goes. It'll go nothing, and all of a sudden it'll go kick back in, and the revs will go up. And sometimes when I'm just driving, the revs will go because I think it's the sensor sending a message to 
whatever it needs to do. Like they're not mechanically or technically minded with vans and cars. But obviously the CNC the sensors need replacing. So and again, I'm, I'm in, since the update from uh, this Friday is, don't know when it's coming. So I've got much choice to drive around with it, not with this fault on. So it's reasonably annoying. So I didn't know Saturday, so I picked that up last Saturday. Um, no, I didn't. Picked it up Mon no, because I didn't do that until Monday. So the start this week, I picked it on Monday. Picked up at lunchtime because I can't get the parts. So I just carried on, done the service and other stuff. So I picked it up Monday lunchtime. Wasn't expecting any work to be honest. Um, job to come up literally around the corner. Not Winsford. It was uh, little. I don't know. You don't unless you know the area. It's difficult to say. It's like it was only like a like um, a private field that some house had a big field behind it. And there was a festival or some not of some of some sorts there, um, and it was like the big travel cases, uh, the big metal travel cases, flight cases, I think they're called. Um, so there was apparently he came down in a short wheelbase, which we've got on an extra long wheelbase. So he said, "You take shipper goes, you take four, and then there'll be another van picking up the rest." So we got there and this bloke had been waiting a few hours for someone to come and collect it. He was just waiting so he could go. So I got it down. There's like 22, 24, 22 and some little smaller ones. So no way they would have gone in a short wheelbase and an extra long wheelbase. So I phoned the shipper, revised it, so he rang his customer, etc., etc., And then the job didn't go ahead because they needed two extra long wheelbases to do the work. Um, obviously only got five meters around the corner. He said, what's your cancellation? I said, 35. Um, and he gave me 40 quid. So only about five minutes around the corner. It was actually, to high, the, job, the job was actually to High Wickham. And it's more than a pound a mile loaded. So it, it was actually a very good job. So slightly annoying, but you know, I wasn't fully prepared for doing it. <laughs> Going out to r rush and get everything ready when I got that job. Uh, which my own fault for not being prepared, but I didn't expect anything to come up. So that was Monday. Um... So you know, I wasn't really planning on work. I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't think um, the van had been ready. So we did that. So then we started on uh, Tuesday, and yeah, this is a, this, this week wasn't. The last two weeks I've been brilliant. This week I was scraped target. I think without looking too closely, but I got a decent job Tuesday. Um, Going to, I think it's from, yeah, I was from Middlewich, uh, next town down, going to Twickenham. Uh, I'm saying there, like, uh, eh. You're going to Twickenham, uh, out straightforward. Uh, oh, yeah, it was really straightforward. It was like round the, it's like a fireplace selling place, thing like that, but the warehouse around the back, and it's a bit narrow around there. Um, it looked like a reverse out. The space to reverse right out, so got out of that, and that was done, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, then didn't get anything after that. The thing is, can an, well, the thing is, there's obviously more competition and stuff, but can can an area be too busy? Well, yeah, because again, you think it's a reasonably good area, which it was, but it's just a bit that I think you have to be kind of on top of jobs there, and it has to be a good price and a few things that you need to be to get the jobs around that neck of the woods. Uh, I wasn't near, I, I bid for a few, but I just wasn't on top of them and it just didn't happen to be honest. It's a bit disappointing. Uh, so I went down to Slough and again, it's a lot of places you stay over that you get, you know, mid afternoon, late afternoon, you get jobs for the next morning. I mean, it's a busy area, even because Slough is. Um, there wasn't really anything, there's still, because everything runs late there, you, there's like jobs still coming up all night there. So nothing comes up till the next morning. Um, but the only one job that did come up um, for the next morning, uh, I got that was from, I was literally um, two minutes from it, literally two minutes around the corner in the morning. Uh, and that was going to Birmingham. Was it the Edgebaston? Yeah, I think it was near, yeah, it was near Edgebaston. So, got that, and then nothing else again. So, a couple of weeks in a row, where I've just got the one job on the return job from where I've been away. So, not great. Obviously, still got decent money, but still, 
again areas that are too big yeah it's difficult in birmingham i think sometimes to pick up work again if you're not on top of it and getting across birmingham can be a pain in the ass um like four miles like 40 minutes and things like that or a bit less but it's pretty difficult sometimes so uh that was that that was wednesday yeah even though this was this week it's difficult to remember isn't it uh so then Thursday's when it really picked up, uh, pulled it back a little bit. Uh, Thursday, first job was, ah yes, ah here's one for you. It's one of the big shippers on the CX. Um, they rang up. It was it wasn't it wasn't like expensive. It was probably just just over what the we should have what the money is, but probably the bottom end of what you should be getting. Um, and one two one the office rang me once. The first, they rang me twice. So the first time they rang me, can you do? I think it was a tenner off. Yeah, tenner off. That would have worked out. Not the money. And they said, can you go a five? I said no. Stick. I was sticking to a price because that's that was pretty. a still good price. I thought. Then the first lads went. I will. I'll have to leave there because I've got my targets to hit. Right. Okay. Targets. 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 I mean, them. Them still making enough on that job to pay me out. So they're really trying to get it as cheap as possible. Obviously, which was quite annoying. But I'm sticking to my price. Uh, then ten minutes later, same job because so it was still on there. Different person from the office rang me. Tried to go cheap again. I said no, and they eventually give it me the price that I originally bid for. So could have saved themselves a lot of time just giving me really. But hey, yo. So oh gosh, should I go? Should I go? I've got time. I've got targets to it as well. So and, I'm, and you're making plenty of money compared to me. So yeah, uh, we went down to Cat. It was Catherine, yeah. Um, it was a pallet on and off job. So. That was that was decent. Uh, so we parked up in Kettering. Uh, we nearly got the job uh, straight after, but it was two pallets. I can't get two pallets on because of bulkhead sticking out. But they didn't say that on the job notes. Then when she said to me, "I oh, was it two pallets?" I no, oh, right. We should just put that on the job because a lot of them do if it's short wheels. They actually will put if it's two pallets because not every short wheel base band can take two two UK pallets. Um, so after that where did we go where did we go we went to Grays um bear with me one second sorry about that uh Wellingborough um I went from went to Grays yeah um just from uh HSS site to another HSS site so that was reasonably straightforward. Um, and then I was thinking, I don't really want to be on a Friday in Grays in Essex because it's a long way back from there, isn't it? And I don't really want to be there. So I tried best. And literally, I stopped, uh, got something to eat and went to the toilet. Then a job came up. Uh, yeah, great. It was Grays, yeah. Grays to Luton. So I got that, so I was quite happy with that. Get to Luton. Um, and what was that? Oh, it was a bit of a pain at the pickup. It's one of the logistics centres and it's just run by God knows what running on, honestly. It's like organised chaos in there. And all seems a bit type of hush hush jobs, if you know what I mean. Logistics, it's also not dodgy, but I don't know, it just seems to, just never seems to be something right about them. When I go and pick them up, I sort a bit of peeing about, got it loaded, and then when again something similar, it's only a smaller place, but the two lads just staring at me. And I said, I said, all right, and they're just like ignoring you. Well, are you waiting for something? I was like, yeah, just can you unload me? You have to go to the office, he's got a four driver, the, their van was in the way, so it's so a little pain in the ass I was. Um, and just weird jobs, it's hard to explain, but if you've done them, you know, kind of know what I mean, like logistic. So it's like loads of random stuff being in boxes in a warehouse. It doesn't seems a bit weird. Anyway, so that was I did that one. Uh, St. Luton. Um, 
and then it's trying to get home. So we got one quite handy. Uh, not it wasn't from Luton, it's from MK, Milton Keynes, to Solihull. Uh, decent, got decent money on that. More than the pound of my loaded. And that was, oh, just two boxes. Oh, yeah, I remember this pickup. Um, I forgot what was in them, to be honest. He did say, I couldn't, I was, I sometimes I don't pay attention. Honestly, I had to sign about 10 things. Cause she kept going, sign, shh, sign, shh. So I was like, freaking hell. I was like, well, it was, so I was signing loads of stuff. <laughs> God knows what it's for. just two small boxes. Had the other stuff in, and it went to like a machinery place, or I don't know, production place in Solihull. Um, and just after I finished that, there was a job came up from it's Birmingham, but it was actually quite a decent run in the end. I did get a job, it's quite a decent run. It was like the bottom end of Birmingham, so it wasn't really the traffic, it was quite a straight run. Uh, and that was going to a private address in Ruffin, which is near Wrexham. Again, got good money in that because I thought no one's going to go there. Um, again, it's more than a pound of our loaded, and that was easy. It was four little boxes and um, pick up straightforward. Um, drop off was straightforward. He probably lived up some gravelly, like he's all properly done, but it's like a gravelly up a hill type of place where he lived. So, and DPD were at exactly the same time. So, <laughs> trying not to get in each other's way because there wasn't much room in the front of his house. Uh, and that was it because, like I said, it's been a bit of a funny few weeks, really. Not been fantastic. Um, obviously, it didn't work last Thursday and Friday, but that was the start of a new month, so it didn't matter too much because, like I said, previous video, we've got four or four weeks at it, uh, even though the van's in. The van's in now as well. Uh, I think it's for these brake pads and stuff, but um, so I should get out back for lunch tomorrow, and again, it's still got this fault until this part comes, so hopefully that'll come next week and then get that sorted out because it does cause some issues when it just conks out uh, randomly, which isn't good. So it's rambled and I've talked enough. <laughs> I have to remember enough, so apologies for that. Just wanted to go try and get a video out because I didn't do one last week because I did two days on the run. I mean, two days on the run filming. Um, so there's been a lot to update. So I hope everyone's found the video good. Um, and next week, there will be, should be a what? Yeah, should we work? Unless the van goes in again for this part, there might not be one next week. I'll just see. This might be a review. Oh, yeah, and also windscreen smashed as well uh, on the passenger side. That's twice in two years. It went past and something off a lorry came off and it got right in the corner of the passenger side. It just cracked it across there. But look, it's the passenger side. But it's just another pain in the arse. I saw it's more time off the road. I'm going to sort out, so I'll just try and fit that in when I can, unless it gets worse. Um, so, yeah. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's had a good few weeks. If them wheels are turning, then you're earning. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.